What's up guys, uh, this is Vince with Green Joe Coffee and Helix Coffee, that's my brick and mortar, as you can see behind me, some art up there, art up there. Um, I got some questions that I want to kind of run through today. Um, one of the questions, probably a, a, a pretty frequent question I get asked is, how much does it cost to do a truck? And you know, that's a, that's a black and white question for a gray answer. And to be honest, if you really want to know the answer to this, um, I would highly encourage just, just picking up the ebook on my website, greenjoecoffeetruck.com, because uh, here's the deal. In the ebook, I wrote down every single receipt that I spent money on building out my first coffee truck, and it's all there. Um, and not only is it all there, but it's also like my recommendations on whether or not I, I could have, should have bought this or not, you know, like kind of looking back and putting some experience into the book, you know, so it's not just how much it costs, but like whether or not I could have gone without that. And that's, I think that's really valuable. So you can find that on the web, on the website, greenjoecoffeetruck.com. Um, anyhow, I'm just going to hit some broad strokes on this one. Um, for, for some of you guys kind of maybe have a little bit of interest in it. Not sure if you really want to, you know, do the research. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So how much does it cost to open up a truck? Well, first thing you got to look at is the truck, right? Um, is this a trailer? Is it a truck? Um, both of those are going to have different costs, different maintenance, different startup costs, right? So like trailer versus truck, you know, there's pros and cons to a trailer. They're lightweight. Um, the engine is separate from uh, the business so that in the event your engine goes down, you can just rent, you know, a U-Haul truck and tow your business to an event or something like that. So your business isn't necessarily um, 100% dependable on your engine, right? That's the benefit to a trailer. Um, they're also cheaper to start. So if you already have a truck, you can get started right out of the gate pretty cheap or if you can borrow a truck or something, whatever. Um, the truck, uh, the fr so the first one I bought was a trailer and that was a lot cheaper to, to get started. The second one I bought was a truck. So knowing what I know now, I went with a truck because um, at this point, I have a brick and mortar. My business model now requires me to delegate my work. And so uh, to run a trailer is difficult. You gotta load it, it's heavy, it's cold. It's just, it's, it's not easy to do. The training on it is much harder. To do a, a, a truck, it's a lot easier to get uh, someone to, to, to work on the truck. So I went with a truck on my, my second coffee truck. My first one was a trailer. All right, uh, anywhere from 1K, to 20k on on a truck right you can get those big panel vans v8s you know double axle i mean you can go to town on those so you know i think it's going to cost you anywhere from a thousand bucks to you know i would say 15 grand to buy a truck if you wanted to my first trailer i spent two and a half grand uh my second truck cost me uh seven so, you know, that's a pretty big range. Um, so it just depends on what you can find, you know. Uh, as far as uh, your next big expense, I think it's going to be your espresso machine. I think that guy's going to run. You, might, you may find a steal for 500 bucks, but I doubt it. I think you're going to be spending anywhere from a grand up to probably realistically two and a half, three thousand bucks for like a refurbished one. Uh, if you don't want to do the refurbishing yourself. Um, I think up to you know five, even ten grand if you're buying it brand new. Um, so that's going to be your next big expense. Your grinder, you know, absolutely put five hundred bucks into it. You're not going to find anything, in my opinion, worthy less than five hundred bucks on your grinder. So count five hundred bucks in for the grinder. Uh, you got a you know commercial refrigerator that's going to cost you five hundred bucks plus. Um, the plumbing in your place is probably going to cost you about a thousand bucks. That's including your tanks. Um, if you install it yourself. You'd probably get away with maybe 750, maybe 800 bucks. Um, if you have it professionally installed, you're looking at 1500 right there. Um, your concession window can be anywhere, you know, 500 to 1,000 dollars, depending if you get it used or new or how you do that. And then uh, your generator, um, if you get a decent deal, you can maybe buy one for you know 750 bucks, but you're probably most likely going to be spending about 1,000 bucks on your generator. Plus, you know, if you want it quiet, then you're going to be spending more. Um, you know, you can. The sky's the limit on that one. I think. Uh, 
I think the Honda Generator 7000s are pricing at like two and a half grand now, something like that. So um, that can run up the expenses pretty quickly. So all in all, I think, you know, if you're going to do a, a down and dirty truck with, you know, as cheap as you can, you, you could probably get away with it for 10 grand. I know a lot of people on the, uh, on the blogs say no to that, but they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, excuse my language, but you watch yourself on those blogs because a lot of those guys are just sitting behind their keyboards and they're happy to tell you what you can't do. Don't listen to them, okay? I just was, I've started two coffee trucks now and uh, so I, I got some context on this and if you, I really feel like if, if you're smart about it, you can start a coffee truck for 10 grand. I really believe that. Um, I think a nice coffee truck is going to probably cost you like, gosh, uh, I said 15K. 15K is about what I spent on mine. Maybe 20K is, you can get a pretty good one for that. You're going to be doing a lot of your own work. But, you know, um, if you don't want to do the work and you want to labor that, that out, you're probably looking at 30K is what I think. Um, and that's going to take you, I mean, gosh, what was our first year? I think we did over 100 grand our first year. So, you know, it'll take you a year to win that back. But, you know, a year, that's nothing. Anyhow, um, listen, I hope it helps. Uh, honestly, you know, if, you, if you're getting starting to get serious about this and you really want to start digging into some of this research behind it, pick up the book. Um, it's worth it. You know, it's there's a lot of good information in there. It's going to save you a lot of headache down the road. I know. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Um, my name is Vincent. I own Green Joe Coffee Truck as well as Helix Coffee Truck. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot me an email. I uh, hope this helps.